In the west of the British mainland, there is a small archipelago called the Isles of Scilly. In the 17th century, these islands became the subject of a conflict with the Dutch. But since the parties did not conclude a peace treaty, the formal war had lasted for 355 years until the agreement was signed only in 1986. In addition, these islands are also known today for the smallest football league in the world, with just two teams. They hold a championship and two cup tournaments among themselves. But how do the two clubs manage to keep such an odd football league alive? Subscribe to our channel and let's geek this out! The Isles of Silly Football League traces its roots from the early 1920s. Not bad, right? During the pre-Great War times, the League of Silly comprised of five teams, which represented the largest islands of the archipelago. However, by 1950s, with a decrease in population, only two teams remained – Rangers and Rovers. In 1984, both clubs were renamed, and today they are called Garrison Gunners and Woolpack Wanderers. The teams play 18 matches in the championship. Yes, you did hear it right. They play 18 times with each other. The match days are held from November to March on the home field of Garrison Gunners and always on the same day, Sunday. In addition, the two teams compete in two cups, the Whole Sailors Cup and the Four Deck Cup. Finally, once a year there is a tournament called All Men vs. The Youngsters, which is played on the Boxing Day that is on the 26th of December. The club budgeting is modest, therefore the locker rooms look like this. And the main stars of the clubs do not boast of a remarkable car fleet. There is no money for ball boys either. Therefore, the players themselves are responsible for retrieving and supplying the ball back to the field. Unlike their colleagues from the Premier League, the players of the Isles of Silly Football League arrive at the pitch long before the game starts. Together, the players on both sides must install the gates, mark up the field, and fill the animal holes in the grass. But even when everything is ready, each upcoming match can be in jeopardy, as there is never an absolute certainty that enough players will gather. However, the lack of funding and adequate football infrastructure is not the main problem of this league. Since there is no high school on the islands, the young players at the age of 16 leave for the British mainland to finish their education. Only a few come back, as the housing on the Silly Isles is expensive and job opportunities are limited to the tourist services. Therefore, the average age of players is far beyond 30 years. In order to somehow maintain a balance between the teams, the captains of both clubs meet annually to distribute the players between Gunners and Wanderers. This tradition often works off, and the clubs are usually at about the same level. In addition, this method retains interest in matches. Besides its small size, the Isles of Silly Football League is also the friendliest league in the world. After each game, the players of both clubs gather at the local pub and discuss football over a glass of beer. This league will be an ideal place for young Mario Balotelli. Quite often the silly players arrive at Garrison football fields after violent parties and are not in the best playing conditions, while during the halftime break one can smoke a cigarette or eat a sandwich. But seriously speaking, such friendly examples should be admired. What do you think? Thank you for being with us today. Subscribe to Football Geeks and check out other episodes suggested on the screen. Put a like under the video, share with your friends and come back soon.